Yeah, after binary, we deal with the text. Okay, how text、uh, can be represent、uh, in some form of a binary, or how computer deal with the text. Okay. So、uh, let me let me use、uh, so our focus. Okay, our focus text. So what is text? Can anyone tell me? I'm not drawing, right? I'm not. Even though I drawing some form of text, but it's kind of use a color. Okay, this is a. It's not a beautiful. <laughs> yeah, pretty satisfied. Is it? Is it beautiful?、Hmm. What do you think? So what is text? Hmm. Let me see if I can insert a text. Okay, everybody know what a text is, right? Now I'm in the PowerPoint. Okay,、uh, to input a text, I need to type.、Mm, a computer is a, a machine. A computer is a machine. Okay, I'm typing something <laughs> pretty bad. English sentence, okay. But can we type、um, multiple language? Okay. Yeah, I'm typing 电脑 Okay, it's in Chinese. Just in case you don't know, 电脑 Okay, elect electrical brain. Okay, <laughs> literally, literally electrical brain is computer in Chinese. Okay, so text、uh, actually,、uh, if I type in the editor, okay, now, if I type those things into the editor, I make it bigger. Can I make it bigger? How can I make it bigger? Can I? Yeah.、Uh, never mind. Okay, it's it's good enough. <laughs> okay.、Uh, Each single tiny character should be should be represent as a a binary, uh, because uh, computer only deal with the binary. So maybe this A will be store as a as a byte. Okay, we know one byte contain a bits, right? Okay. And so it could be the combination of something, right?、It、could be one zero one one zero zero one one, okay, whatever. But、uh, this C, this P,、uh, could be another another one one zero one da 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 da. Okay. And of course,、uh, this one is A. This one is a small letter B. So we can think about、uh, they must be different, right? Otherwise,、uh, our computer will start to confuse because uh, if uh, another a small letter a small letter a have the same binary representation with the big letter a, <laughs> things become very confusing, right? So. Uh, here comes a very important、uh, aspect. Okay, if you know that everything in the computer, including the program,、uh, is a binary in store in the memory, and how do we represent our text, especially、uh, the English or in the Western world? Okay, so here comes a. We call it the text needs to be encoding. What does this mean? Okay, the example I just given to you is a way of to encode a text because A is a one zero one one zero zero one one P is a some pattern. So they must have a table. To correspond to 
all the possible combination human may use in the in the uh, in the maybe computer keyboard A B Z one two three right and uh, some punctuation okay so what kind of punctuation do we have yeah we have a lot right they all need to be counted and each one should correspond to a kind of uh, binary representation okay they won't they won't uh, conflict which means that each everyone should have its own entry okay this kind of encoding uh, need to is necessary otherwise when computer release the eight bits they don't know how to restore back to the the original code right so here's a, a very important concept so how many bits uh, is necessary or is is sufficient to to keep the Western alphabet number okay in text including punctuation okay the answer is not many because the A to Z 26 small letter A to Z another 26 number have uh, 10 digits right and adding some car punctuation uh, probably less than less than a bit is necessary because a bit can allow us to uh, to represent such huge combination okay you say such huge <laughs> but <laughs> but but it's not really that many right uh, the, tr the true is uh, uh, when computer was invented actually there are some uh, different representation I just hear this the famous one we call the ASCII A S C I I okay okay so you hear people talk about ASCII code ASCII code what that means it's a coding coding method to represent the uh, the the computer input okay a standard stands for America a right? American okay code something information interchange okay you need to we can google it later on uh, see some wikis information to get a more precise information okay so what we need here what we need to know here is that ASCII code is actually uh, 7 bit okay so if we count the 7 bit they got the uh, 128 possibilities okay it's still still quite large okay uh, in the early days no early days <laughs> um, before internet uh, people uh, tend to communicate through the English right it's enough okay uh, later on uh, we have a bit we call a extended ASCII code because uh, a bit forms one byte uh, by this kind of extension uh, we can use uh, one byte to store uh, the extra the extra extra 128 for some extension purpose okay maybe you have a uh, 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 this kind of uh, symbol or those kind of symbol or whatever okay some emoji okay or special character but a different company extended a little bit different that become the, uh, the, the issue okay uh, later on uh, when we become uh, more interconnected okay, <laughs> here we have uh, internet right and the different uh, countries computer they started to connect it together and uh, people who may speak a multiple language who write a web page 
maybe worldwide web application they may contain the English, uh, Chinese, and maybe German, maybe even uh, Arabic language. Okay, so here comes the issue: How can we represent uh, the text information, especially for for multiple lingual, multiple language at the same same uh, web page, and won't mix up each other with each other? So here uh, is things that we need to deal with. ASCII code obviously is not enough. Okay, a uh, seven bit because uh, how many character do we have in Chinese? Okay, <laughs> how many character? If you uh, are learning Chinese, you know we have a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many, but maybe more than uh, more than ten, ten thousand maybe even more right okay okay so it's it's far more or less uh, insufficient so we need a more bits we need a, uh, a standard to to deal with uh, different languages consistency so here is a concept we call a unicode okay the kind of quite important especially for uh, for now, at this moment, the modern uh, World Wide Web, okay, Unico, U N I, Unico, quite important. Okay, I'm now moving Unico, Unico, maybe down here. Wow, fantastic. Okay, so that I can put my <laughs> head. <laughs> I'm now doing recording. Put my head on the uh, top right corner. Okay. And one of the widely accepted Unicode uh, is a UTFA. UTFA. Okay. Of course, they are UTF-16 and some other uh, variant. But UTF-A is so clever design so that they can solve, uh, use a variable length encoding, okay? It's, uh, later on, we'll talk, talk about that. They can deal with the multiple language with the variable lengths. So I hope that it's not too confusing in the text world. Uh, so uh, first we need to know text, even though it's a text, the internal phone is a binary. We need a code book. We need a, a standard, okay? Now people use a UTFA to express almost everything, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.